Welcome, mere mortals, to my lair. My name is Metroid Chunky, and today we will be playing Dilation, which is apparently an indie game that is on Game Jolt. I heard interesting things about it. Well, from the description, apparently you can slow down time and fire pellets or something. Let's see how good it is. Well, at least it runs pretty well on the... Yeah, on the recorder. It definitely runs really well on my computer, surprisingly. Because my computer's kind of a piece of crap, but whatever. Get a time gun, complete all the rooms, come back here and make a report. Okay. Yes, sir. Hey, get some water. Come on, I'm parched here. I'm parched here. Why don't you give me any water? I need it! Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. And the, the most impressive part about this is that my computer is actually running it pretty well. Yeah, I know, I'm putting down my computer a lot, but let's face it, this is Unreal 4. I didn't expect it to run this well, considering Doom doesn't even run, it just crashes. That's how weak my computer is. Yep, the new- I can't even play the new Doom, because it crashes my computer. If I could play Doom, I would be Let's Playing it right now. I wouldn't be- That's a pretty cool looking game too, but let's be- let's be real here. If I had to choose between this and Doom, I'd be Let's Playing Doom right now. You know what I mean? Am I right? I'm guessing you can't really use one of any of these doors. I'm guessing they're just there for decoration. I'm, I'm guessing it would give you a prompt if you could actually use some of them. Oh, well. This is an actual choice here. I can actually choose which room to go into. Even though... Oh, there we go. I chose correctly. I've got some weird arms. Am I a male or a female? I can't even tell. It's not exactly clear. Okay, what the hell does this do? Is this the time stopper or the pellet shooter? Oh, that is... Look at that cool effect. Wow, apparently this guy forgot to draw the HUD weapons on top of everything else. Look at that. Come on, man. That is... I don't know how easy it is to do on Unreal Engine 4, but on Unity, you just draw to a different layer or just move it back. You know, make it a little smaller and move it back a little so that it doesn't clip through the environment. So that is... That is a flaw that I see here, but whatever. I'm not gonna judge, it's free, and it's probably still in the middle of development, so I'm gonna be nice to it. I'm gonna be a little bit nice to it. I, I get it, you, you you need some more time to work out the kinks, I get you. I mean, hell, in the crap I'm building, I've, I've got lots of kinks. I mean, I barely know how to make the enemies attack you. I can barely constitute an actual game. It barely constitutes an actual game, is what I'm saying. Oh, that looks cool. Anyway, where the hell else am I supposed to go? Okay, get a time gun, complete all the rooms. Where are all the rooms at? I mean, I got the friggin' time gun, where am I supposed to go for the rooms? Oh, great. More water jugs. That I can't use. I'm going to die of thirst in this godforsaken place. Uh, besides that, in the meantime, let's see what we can do in here. Okay, I, I can't seem to do much. Am I supposed to use this for something? Am I just supposed to shoot at things randomly until something works? I mean, I w it would surprise me if I just had to shoot some, or just use the elevator. Holy crap, the frame rate just went to hell there for a second. Okay, can I use the elevator? It's freezing for some reason. What the hell? God damn it. Come on. Okay, there we go. I don't know what the hell just happened there, but for some reason when I entered the elevator, it lagged like crap. You gotta work on your elevators. Or maybe my computer just sucks so badly that, a, that looking at an elevator somehow makes it lag. That doesn't make any sense, though. Why would the elevator be so much worse to look at than all of this? I mean, look at this. All of this is fine. But apparently an enclosed space is what really pushes your computer the, to the limit. Yeah, who would have known? Vast, expansive environments with countless numbers of polygons? No. It's little, tiny, enclosed spaces that are maybe a handful, a small handful of polygons. They're what really push your computer to the test. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? I'm shooting at it. Here you are. As you can see, there's a red button. You must hit it with a ball you can find in a box. Take E. Just use your air gun to shoot. But there's a trick. The button opens for one, two seconds. You were probably not trying to slow down the ball. 
Use mouse wheel to choose time dilation, and as it flies to the target, you can come to the door, and as soon as it opens up, you should leave the room. I will listen to this sound advice that I read out of nowhere. Okay. What the hell? Did it just bounce? What the hell's this all about? What the frick? I thought I was just supposed to slow it down or something. Am I supposed to turn it down? Let's try that. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. Holy crap. I guess the other option was to make it go insanely fast. Yep, it made it go insanely fast because I guess it naturally bounces off of walls or something. Wow, did I just deplete my entire ball collection? Balls. I depleted my entire balls collection. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep saying it like that because I'm twelve. Better turn this bad boy down. The same situation, but you must see the dilation field. It dilates times of the objects. This particular field will fast objects too, so there won't be any effect if you slow the ball down. Look closely, the timer has special paint on it. This means that paint can make steam or so down. Use your time gun to slow the timer, so door closing will start later. What the hell? Okay. Oh, I see. It works on other things except for your balls. Well, whatever that was, it worked. Let's see what other challenges this place has for me. They've been so hard so far. Good thing the G-Man, or whoever the hell is leaving out these notes, just happened to leave paper notes out for me to do. It's almost like this is a video game and I'm supposed to find them. Nah, that couldn't be true. This can't be a video game. I'm just a ghost and I clip through walls. Or at least my hands are ghosts. Yeah, I'm part ghost. My hands are ghosts, but the rest of me aren't. Yeah, that makes... that totally makes sense, right? Okay, wh where the hell am I supposed to go now? Obviously, you'll know if I fast forward it or not, because you'll notice it. Oh. All I had to do was press E? Wow. I didn't know that. Who would have thought you used a door by pressing E? I didn't know it loaded a new area either. Well, I feel stupid. But luckily, you won't have to see most of that, because I'll have fast forwarded through most of it. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this note says. Here you can see two doors. Both of them can be dilated. They are painted. The only button interacts with both doors at the same time, so you won't be able to leave the room without any help from your time gun. Try to slow something down. Try to slow it down. Try it. Okay, let's see what they do first. Press the button. Oh, I get it. I see what's going on here. I gotta distort this. And then distort you. And then I can leave. Well, what do you know? It really is that simple. I'm just a moron. I'm just a complete dumbass. That's that's basically what, what it is. These, these these things are insanely easy, but I'm insanely stupid, so it kind of balances out, doesn't it? What the hell? Is my hand actually pushing through the door just to try to get it to open? I don't even get how that works. Okay, I better read the note or something because I'm confused as hell here. What the hell? Is that a ball? Let me read the note. If you step on a red button, the left door ball will fall. We'll roll toward that closes the red door, slow the ball down. It can repel your distortion like a mirror. Well, that's handy, isn't it? Yes. I've got to slow down the ball. 
The Bowl of Steel. Oh, great, another elevator. Let me guess, it's gonna lag too. Because apparently elevators have super lagging power. Didn't you know that? That's how people get stuck in them. Come on. What the hell? I did open it, didn't I? Now what's the problem? What the hell? Well, none of these are the correct way. So it's gotta be this elevator. Oh. It's just very, very slow. Well, apparently I can't double the time, so I just gotta deal with this slow-ass elevator that is suspiciously slow. Come on. Come on, buddy. Wow. Okay, this one isn't lagging out, so I don't know what the hell happened. Well, it's not lagging my computer, but it's sure as hell lagging the elevator. I don't know what the hell's going on there. Come on. Come on, buddy. Hurry up. Now you should know how to use your gun in order to complete... Oh, crap. I probably should have read that before I went on the elevator. My bad. Oh, I still can. Apparently I brought it with me. Through time and space. Now you should know how to use your gun. Do not forget to look for uh, wires. That can help you to understand which buttons interact with other stuff. And do not forget about the paint because not all the stuff can be diluted. Good luck. By the way, I left notes in every room in case you get stuck on... Oh, crap. Crap. Great, now it's stuck in my... Okay. I had to... I had to click out of the window just so I could gain control of my mouse cursor so that I could click the close button because it kind of glitched out there. Apparently, if you open a note just as you're going into the next room, that has a bit of a problem to it. Okay. I'm assuming this is the same deal as the last time. I gotta distort something. Yes. We gotta distort this. Oh. It does something else. What was it? What did it do? What did it do? What effect did it have? Apparently, well, other than having a ball that goes insanely slow. Oh. Wait, what the hell? What was that? I just saw the timer move. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, I see. I get where you're going here. A door opened, it just wasn't the one I was expecting. And I realized that the ball just comes out at the same speed that is on your gun. You don't have to shoot it, which is probably good news for me. So, what do I got to do here? Do I got to shoot? Do I got to shoot it up there and make it roll down? Yeah, and then land on that button? I'm assuming so. But I gotta get out of here before I can do that. So hopefully that ball hits that first. Nope. I completely missed. Damn it. Crap. And of course that that actually hits its goal. That actually hits its freaking mark. But I'm stuck in here. Yeah, except how am I going to get out? How the hell am I going to get out? Is there something I can do to achieve my goal? Damn it. I may be at this for a while. Oh, here we go. I found the right angle, so I just gotta slow it down now so that it can actually get there. Ah, I get it, apparently these balls are affected by gravity, who knew? Here I thought they just flew forever, because video games taught me that. That once you shoot, shoot a projectile, it just stays in the air forever. It never tries to curl down or be affected by gravity or any of that crap. I do love the refraction effect that appears around it, that is really cool. I mean, I know Unity can do the same thing, but it still looks really cool. I won't lie. Now that I know, now that I actually know to use E on the doors, who knew? Yeah, I'm an, I'm an idiot.
beyond idiots for not realizing that sooner. We can move on. Okay, what's what's all this then? Good. Very interesting. Let's try hitting this. Well, I should probably get some balls first. I mean, how am I going to shoot if I don't have any balls? Let's see what that does. Crap. I aimed it too low. I forgot. Gravity and all that crap. I actually have to aim upward. You know what? I'm just going to fill up. I'm going to grab all the balls I possibly can. Don't take that out of, out of context. I'm serious. Do not take that out of context. Very bad things will happen if you do. And by very bad things, I mean really nothing. Wait a minute. Oh, I see. I see, you little trickster. I gotta do two of them. You trickster. You... Tr you... You, um... Ah, cheeky one. You cheeky one, that's what I meant to say. My apologies. I have a bit of a... Crap. Now I was too distracted. Luckily, there are balls here just floating around in low time warp. Slow-mo balls running all over the place. How can I possibly grab them all? Okay, go down. There we go. Crap, I gotta beat that ball here. I gotta be faster than this ball. Crap. It's bouncing all over the place. Hope, uh, as long as it hits the button, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Come on. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. I love the warping effect. I know I said that before, but seriously, I think it bears repeating. That just looks cool. Look at the effect it has. It just warps everything it goes through. It's not going to hit it, is it? Crap. Or is it? Come on. Yes. I was wondering there for a second. It didn't look like it was going to hit it. It just bounced at the right moment. Let's, oh, I guess the elevator isn't slow this time. First it slows my computer, and then it just moves slowly itself, and now we actually get in somewhere. The elevator is actually at normal speeds. Who knew the elevator was capable of such a thing? Who knew it was capable of such a feat? I certainly didn't. What the hell is this? This looks like, looks like some kind of complex rat trap. I don't know the name of that. Some kind of... It, there, there's a certain type of machine that's named after somebody. I just don't remember what it's called. I know it's not Shrouder. That guy is basically the one who determined the cat and the box simultaneously dead and alive. That's not it. It's something else. But oh, it's a that's a freaking fan. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Am I supposed to? How am I supposed to counteract that unless I can bounce it? Which I could. But it might not make it, especially if it's bouncing off the freaking desks. Okay, so what the hell am I supposed to do with, about this? There's got to be something I can do here. I've got no clue what the fan does. Hold on. Maybe there's a note somewhere that tells me how I'm supposed to do this. Nope, I guess not. I'm pretty much on my own. If I take too long, I'll just have to skip through it. You guys want up to see a thing. Oh, I see. It has less of an effect. I kind of get it now. Go slow. Hopefully, hopefully it'll bounce off that. If not, I don't know what the hell the game wants me to do. I'm just going with a hunch here. Okay, I aimed it too... I aimed it too low, but I think I got the right idea. I might just have the right idea. 
Come on. I guess moving it in the direction of the fan doesn't really affect it. I noticed it didn't even skewer its path. You'd think the fan would make it go more that way. But I guess not. As long as it's not directly against the fan, it doesn't give a crap. Okay, I kind of had it off. Maybe I should do it more like this. Yeah, that way. Because the angle, it has to be right. I mean, my problem is I need to do it more like this. I'm going to figure it out eventually. It's, it's all about trial and error. And thankfully, I've got a long time to make trials. To make some trial shots here. Damn it. Now it's not going f high enough. Crap. It's hard to nail this. Damn it. Oh, that'd be great if I could... Wow, I can? Oh, that almost feels like cheating. But whatever. Yeah, that's... technically cheating, but... I don't care. I can't get it the right angle anyway. And apparently even with cheating, I can't get it right. There. Well, I don't know what the intention was. Wait a minute. Can can this just go through it on its own? No, it can't. Which means I technically wasn't supposed to do that. But you know what? I don't care because getting it the right angle, all that bull crap, it was, it was frustrating me. So you know what? I'm just going to take it. Screw it. Yeah, you see, this is why you don't, you have to make sure your HD models don't clip through the walls, otherwise. You have very exploitable situations here, if you know what I mean. I've actually been at this for a while. When I, when I look at, when I look at, at games on Game Jolt, for some reason I expect them to be pretty short games because the last, the last of them kind of were, except for Tube Tycoon, but that was because it was a more open-ended game. I huh, wonder if I can slow that down. Nope. Wait a minute. Can I slow it down from here? Nope, I can't. I cannot. Ooh, but I can do this. Ah, I'm smart. Not so smart, apparently. Come on, hit it. Come on, one of you just has to hit it. Come on, hit it. Oh, come on, just one of you hit it. Or am I just supposed to hit that? I'm guessing that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, it's protected by glass. Or maybe I just didn't aim it high enough. I'm guessing it's the second one. Because I don't see glass. Or it could be the first one. Yeah, there 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 actually is glass there. Who knew? I didn't know that. Okay, so what is this supposed to do? Is it possible? Is it remotely? Well, oh, that's weird. Did it actually work? Did I actually slow down the button? I don't know if, if that's what happened or not. But come on. Now, now it won't lift. The problem was getting on the lift. Now it's just to get the lift to move up. Come on. Come on. Crap. Oh. It can't support my weight? What the hell? So, what am I supposed to do? I don't get it. Oh, I see. Jeez. I don't know what the hell that's all about. What the? Oh, I see your game. 
I see what you're going at. I definitely see what you're driving at. I see what you want me to do. Crap. Come on. Come on. Ah, wasn't. You know what? May as well exploit it just to see what it does. So all it does is just open that? Really? What was that supposed to accomplish? I mean, all that does is it just lets you see it better. Whatever, I'm just I'm just gonna move forward because this is making no sense to me. I'm just rambling on or something. Ah, an elevator. I haven't seen one of those in minutes. Sorry if I'm sounding bored, it's pretty late. And I'm not really sure what this game wants me to do. It's a little interesting, but at the same time, it can get a little grating if you don't know what you're supposed to be doing. What the hell? Am I supposed to do all of them? Okay, just give me some balls and I'll see what I can do. This should be easy. I say should be easy. I never said it would be easy, I just said it should be, theoretically speaking. But I'm theoretically a madman. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. That was easier than I thought. Oh, looks like my theory was correct. This game theory was absolutely correct. It was as easy as I thought it would be. I mean, it can't just be that I'm smart. <laughs> Hell no. There's no way it can be that. I know for a fact it can't be that. What the hell? Ah, it's that refraction effect again. I love it. I just love looking at it for some reason. I love that sort of glass shimmering effect for some reason. It just looks really cool. It just... I don't know. It personifies gaming shader effects to me. I don't know why. I know it seems kind of weird if you think about it, but whatever. Okay. Well, this is certainly interesting. What does this do? Okay. Cool. Huh. What does that do? Oh, it reverses it. Cool. Oh, I see where you're driving at. You want me to shoot it, and then quickly go over here. Allowing the ball safe passage forward. You see, you, you can't really tell from this angle whether it's going to make it or not. It's kind of difficult. Crap. Crap. That may be a problem. Or it would be a problem if I couldn't just do this. Hold on. Now ah, they're bouncing up. Well, I guess I can't do this. Maybe I can just bounce it down. Come on. Go down. Go down. Get down. Get down. Or just go wherever the hell you want to, whatever. I mean, I don't really care. Damn it. Okay, I got an idea. Will that work? Nope, I didn't aim it. I didn't aim it high enough. No, it's screwed. I'm just going to do three at once just in case. One of them is bound to hit it. And of course, two of them were bound to hit it. Who knew that, that was a bad idea? Okay, I'll just do one this time. I'll just have to do it very. this painfully slow process of trial and elimination. What the hell? Okay, I just gotta be fast about it. I just gotta slam up against the door. There we go. Take that. What do you think of your technology now? Hey, you like me now, bitch. To quote John Dorian from Scrubs. I love that show. Oh, I see. Now we just gotta make it past here, go through here, and we are on our way. It's so amazing. 
I make it look so easy. No, I don't. I make it look needlessly frustrating. Because I'm stupid. If it looks easy when I'm playing it, then it will. It, then it is at, in an actuality insanely easy. I make everything look way harder. What the hell? That's weird. I guess it's just a, a design choice, but with those spots on the ground and the color, it kind of looked like the place was burnt or something. Guess I should have realized it's just color. It's just a color of a floor. What the hell is this? Well, they're giving me balls for something, so I'm assuming balls are necessary here. Oh, you got to have good timing for this crap. I got it through, but unfortunately, it wasn't good enough. My aim wasn't good enough. Come on. Yeah, make it through. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Did it hit it? Did it reach it? I'm gonna try aiming higher. Go to new heights. Okay, that one will make it, hopefully. Or was it too high? Apparently I aimed too high. You gotta set your expectations down a notch. You can't you can't aim too high. Otherwise you're setting yourself up for disappointment. You know, just like I did. You gotta be realistic. You gotta be realistic. Don't aim too high and don't aim too low. But just right. Be as high as you can get within the realm of reason. What the hell? I swear I saw it hit it. So what the hell? What happened? I don't get it. Yeah, th this should hit it. Yeah, unfortunately, both of them hit it. Yeah, it's going to be frustrating. I can already see myself fast-forwarding this as I speak. Yeah, go just enough down that you hit the button. Oh, I can actually lift this thing? Holy crap. Go on to your journey. Your destiny awaits. Not on me. Wait, can I see myself? Is that me? Holy crap, what the hell? I think I saw myself there. No, I want to see this. Can I actually see myself? No. I, I thought that was me. I thought that was like my character. It's not. No, don't go back. Damn it. I really thought this was the solution. Oh, there we go. Now I get ya. I understand you now. After about the billionth time. Now I gotta be fast. Damn it. Please say it's not too late. Ah, quit glitching. Damn it. I figure it out and I can't even do it because this ball is just a glitchy asshole. Come on, you bastard. Come on. Let go. Damn it. That's just being an asshole. Okay, come on. Open up. Open up for daddy. That sounded so wrong. Do not take that out of context. Well, I'm not sure what context you're supposed to take that in. Damn it! I was just a second too late. What the hell? Uh, that's a piece of crap. I'm gonna be fast forwarding the hell out of this. I can see it now. Oh boy. This is gonna be a doozy. Crap. You know what? This is. I'm probably gonna have to do a, do a part two of this if I do one at all. If I am gonna complete this. Or not. Okay, I finished that one. Let's see how much further in this game we've got. If we have too much if we have to do another room, then I'm just gonna cut it off here. It really depends. 
I would love, as much as I would love to play this all night, I mean, I can't. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut it off here. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Share it. Thumbs up, thumbs down, comment. Give me your, your honest opinions. Do whatever. I'll see you next time. Go out there and capitalize on life. And have a good, have a good one. See you later. Hey there, you like the video you just saw? Check out these videos right here. Just click on one, you'll be on your merry way.